All right, here we are. If you're viewing this video, you are viewing this on Saturday morning. That's right. Video premieres are now on Saturday mornings. Um, just in case I don't feel like doing a video that day, I'll do some videos ahead of time. Of course, some information will be inaccurate. Some information will still be accurate. Some will not be. It just depends on what's happening at the time. That's how some videos are going to go moving forward. And uh, yeah, here we are. So we have reached the end of Friday Night Smackdown. And, I'm, and I know what you're thinking. WWE content? That hasn't happened on this channel in a while. What happened to Survivor Series? Yeah, that didn't happen. I did not get to watch Survivor Series. I did not watch it. It, it ended up meaning absolutely nothing. It really has no meaning anymore, unfortunately. You know, the whole brand supremacy thing, you know. Eh. But we are here at the Royal Rumble, and now this is where things get interesting. The road to WrestleMania is going to be fun. Now, of course, we all know wrestling, you know, has storylines and stuff like that, and blah, blah, blah. You know, and writing and blah, blah, blah. You know. So, you know. And, and decisions on who can win the Royal Rumble, the, both the men's and the women's Royal Rumbles, can change in a dime. It's just whatever Vince McMahon wants. It's whatever he wants is going to happen. Now let's go over these. Let's go over these other matches first before we talk about the actual Rumbles themselves. Let's start with the Universal Championship, which is a last man standing match. Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens have been feuding. For a few months now, and Roman Reigns has gotten you know at that point to where he's been the top dog at the company, as as a heel as he should be. This is what we've all been craving for for the past few years now, but we finally got it. We finally got it. We we finally got Roman Reigns being at the top of the company, being the top dog, the tribal chief, as you may know after the feuding with the Usos for a couple months as well. But Kevin Owens, you know, he, he's, he's, he's a guy that should should be in the in the, the, um, the main title picture a lot anyways. But I don't I don't know. Roman it seems like Roman's going to keep this title through WrestleMania at least. So I'm expecting Roman to win this matchup. And if not, if 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 it seems that Kevin Owens is going, to. but I, I'm putting my odds on Vince saying, "Hey, Roman's gonna win this match. He's gonna take this belt to Mania, and he might face The Rock or something. Who knows? That's that's what I've been seeing. You know, Roman Reigns versus The Rock at WrestleMania. It could be interesting. It could be interesting, honestly. But we don't know yet. We don't. We don't know. That's like three months away. We don't know what's gonna happen at WrestleMania. We have to get through Elimination Chamber and stuff like that first." You know, in between the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania and, and uh, Fast Lane or whatever. There's also Drew McIntyre taking on Goldberg. You gotta be kidding me. Now, I know there was a Legend special, you know, a few weeks back and stuff like that, you know, on Raw, but we don't need Goldberg in matches. We've proven this time and time again. Like, Goldberg is just not the type of guy to be putting title matches on. Like, in his old age like this. He's like 50s all the years old. This is, this is, this is not fun. This is not fun at all. I, I really don't want to see this matchup. This should not have happened whatsoever. There should have been something else going on with Drew McIntyre. It's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of weird, you know, what they've been doing. With Drew sometimes, because I feel like sometimes, you know, WWE doesn't know what to do with him. But you know, they've given him the champion. They've given him the WWE Championship. And that's what matters the most. But I feel like you know this move really just kind of looks strange. You know, this this portion of his reign looks kind of strange. You know, taking on Goldberg like like Goldberg, you've had your time in the ring. You need to step back. Step back, young old man. Oldberg, step back. Please. Please. Step back and let somebody else, you know, take the reins. I would have rather seen Keith Lee or something like that. 
But no, we have Goldberg. Unbelievable. And you, and you probably wonder, who made this decision? It was probably Vince. It was probably Vince. And, and, and the guys in the back, you know, like Kevin Dunn and Bruce Pritchard and all those guys like that, you know, they're scratching their heads too because they don't know what the world's going on either. But whatever, whatever. Next match is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. And that is Asuka, Charlotte Flair, Tico, Nia Jax, Shayna Baszler. Now, that, now, the whole Nia Jax, Shayna Baszler thing was just kind of, you know, I completely think this is completely out of thin air, you know, this pairing. And the Asuka, Charlotte Flair thing was kind of out of nowhere, too, to be completely honest. It's, it's really just a way to prop up. Charlotte Flair being anywhere near a title is just a way to prop up the WWE Women's Division, which is kind of weak, mediocre, if we're going to be completely honest. Like, it hasn't produced the hype that it that it was supposed to bring all the time. It Half the time, it's just Charlotte being in the title picture. And, you know, whatever else is going on is whatever else is going on. But, um, yeah, it's kind of meh. Not gonna lie. They, they won the titles, you know, what, at TLC? You know, beating them Jackson Blazer. Um... I'm probably expecting these two to retain. I mean, it's it's not even going to be, you know, it's going to be interesting, you know, the way. Because, I mean, we, we still got, <laughs> it's not, it jacks in the ring. She still botches a lot. And, I mean, you know botches are bad. Botches are bad in the wrestling business. You know, there's a whole show about that. Y'all know what that show is. But yeah, I'm expecting this match to be pretty interesting. I'm not gonna lie, it's it it sounds intriguing, but again, it's it's one of those things where it's like it's the the same thing with Goldberg. It just doesn't really make sense right now to have you know Charlotte Flair hold on to a title. She shouldn't be anywhere near a title either. Let her let, let her do something else. You know, just let her sit around and lounge for a little bit. She could still be in the main title picture, but just don't let her win it. Doesn't make any sense. Meanwhile, lastly, before we get to the actual Rumble stuff itself, sh sh oh, I, I could not speak there. Sasha Banks, the SmackDown Women's Champion, taking on Carmella. I gotta say, this is a pretty interesting one as well. Very interesting matchup. I mean, oh, again, at least two of these matchups, you know, are toss ups. I'm not giving any thoughts about the whole Goldberg thing. Or, or the old um, Oscar Charlotte Flair thing. Um, but this match right here, Carmella's been proving herself lately. I'm not going to lie to you. She's been given some good opportunities lately. You know, she had the money in the bank, money in the bank briefcase, you know, a, what, a year or two ago. And, you know, things have been looking up for her. Things have been looking really good. Sasha Banks, you know, she's been, she's been killing it. She's been killing it in the ring and out the ring. But again, this matchup is definitely it's awesome. You know, I I really, you know, both these both these women are spectacular in the ring, and um, it's gonna be fun. I can tell you that. Now let's talk about these rumble matches. Thirty men Royal Rumble, thirty women Royal Rumble match, World Championship matches for both you know the men's and the women's Rumble winners. Let's take a look at who's on. You know, who's on the men's side first? And um, Daniel Bryan, first up on the docket. Very interesting choice. You know, Daniel Bryan has been a guy who's persevered for years now in the WWE. Of course, we all know, you know, about him versus the authority. You know, way back when, that a couple of feuds with Bray Wyatt. He's done, especially that one, you know, last year. Um, it's been very fun. Very fun watching him in the ring. He's a very a good ring in ring performer, but his career may be winding down and he could be coming up for one last run. This is one of my, this is one of many people's wild card picks to win the rumble. And I I'm on that boat too. I wanna see Daniel Bryan maybe take on Maybe take on Reigns. Maybe take on McIntyre. Who knows? I mean, he's on SmackDown technically, but um, I'd rather see him take on Drew. 
There's also Bobby Lashley, AJ Styles, Randy Orton, Otis, The Miz, who's still the uh, Money in the Bank holder, right? Yeah, he, I think he's still the Money in the Bank holder right now. Jey Uso, Cesaro, Jeff Hardy, Sami Zayn, Dolph Ziggler, Shinsuke Nakamura, Big E. Now, this is a guy who, who desperately needs a singles run. He desperately needs a run at that title. I've been wanting that for a few years now by myself. I was wondering, you know, when he first got to WWE, I was like, hey, this guy, it looks, you know, when I was younger, I was like, hey, this guy, he looks like he can get a title. He looks like he can get the WWE Championship at some point. But that didn't really come to fruition. Of course, we all know the whole stuff of the New Day for a while, for a long while, until, you know, the brand split broke them up. But could it be? Could it be Big E? Think of that, too. You know, could be Brian, could be Big E. So who else? John Morrison, Sheamus, Mustafa Ali, King Gorbin, uh, Rey Mysterio, and Dominic. Don't forget his son, Dominic. Braun Strowman, who's kind of, you see, Braun Strowman's been in a weird place lately, too. You know, he had the title at one point, but he's been kind of relegated to, you know, like, the number three guy right now behind, you know, Roman Reigns. And um, McIntyre right now, he's been kind of relegated to, you know, that mid-card, high, major card status. You know, right now, he's in that in-between zone right now. But here's another guy who looks very interesting, and that is Edge. Edge, of course, came back last year after, you know, you know that brutal neck injury that got him, you know, completely out of the business for the longest time and he was on you know TV show and stuff like that for a long time but there could be talks there could be something interesting brewing with him as well could it be could it be you know those are the three picks that I'm thinking now you never know again you never know what Vince McMahon could be thinking you never know what the writers of the WWE could be thinking who could come out on top you never know that's 21 competitors announced so far, so we'll know the other nine in between now, which is about Friday night, you know, 11 o'clock, or rather, it's Saturday on the East Coast now, or just about. So 21 of the 30 entrants have been announced by now. But what about the women's side? There's only about 13 participants being announced. Of course, you know, Nia Jax, Charlotte Flair, they are competing in this rumble as well. Yeah, they are competing in the Women's World Rumble. I don't expect these two to last very long in the Rumble because they already have a match. And it really speaks to the lack of depth on the Women's roster right now. Bailey's in the match. Mandy Rose is in the match. Dana Brooks in the match. Peyton Royce is in this match. Alexa Bliss, Shayna Baszler, who's also, you know, he, she was also competing in the tag team match. Uh, Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, Tamina, and Natalya. But... There is two, two women that I think who have really started to shine recently. Of course, we all, if you don't know who Bianca Belair is by now, you should. Damn good in-ring performer. Damn good in-ring performer. She, well, I believe she was with the, with the Street Profits for a little while. But um, she did off, went off and did her own thing, you know, after she got on the main roster. Rhea Ripley could be you know could be you know i don't i honestly do not know much about her which is kind of sad because i don't i don't watch nxt i really don't i mean i know i know i know people are going to be like well why don't you watch nxt i mean i just don't there's a lot of wrestling on during the week you can't keep up with 10 with like 10 hours of wrestling during the week it's just impossible but that's why i only watch the big four you know, you just can't. You just can't do that. But it could be Rhea Ripley. It could be Bianca Belair. That's what I'm thinking. Now, I believe there's supposed to be another match supposed to be announced. And that is for the U.S. Championship. Bobby Lashley, Apollo Crews. That might be a pre-show thing. And that, who knows if that's going to even be on the show or not. But we'll find that out, you know, soon. So if you are seeing this video on Saturday and you like it, like, share, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell, do all that good stuff, and I will see you Sunday to recap college basketball for this week. Because, man, we got some doozies this week. Oh, my goodness. Great.
purchase.